Hey friends and resellers, it's Trish with Wellsourced coming at you with a thrift haul video. This is just from two trips to um, a local thrift store where I live in Middle Tennessee and a thrift store down in Nashville that I went to for like 30 minutes while I was waiting for my husband's flight to get in. It was a little delayed and so I had some extra time to kill. At our airport in Nashville, they're doing a ton of construction um, as this area has just grown a ton over the last couple of years and they've moved this cell phone lot like three miles away from the airport which is about the distance that it takes me to happen to like wait at a thrift store so instead of sitting in a parking lot doing nothing i'm able to go to a thrift store and poke around this is from a couple weeks ago the first one so i'm not 100 percent sure what i got honestly um but a quick story time real quick is that i have been reselling for about five years full time for come it'll be about a year and a half technically full time or this is my full time gig and i have always um dropped things off in the blue bin outside of my local post office not ones that are like on random street corners but the one outside of my post office and have never had an issue my post office is a smaller uh, location than the main branch here in my town and I've never had an issue. So sometimes on Saturdays, that location is understaffed, especially like for, through COVID. I think they were really understaffed, but still occasionally it's closed on Saturdays. And so rather than driving like 25 minutes to the other location or 20 minutes, I will just pop things in that blue um, outside, you know, mail slot. And until last Saturday, a week, a week plus ago, I dropped six packages in there. Seventh was in my car because it was a shoe box and it wouldn't fit in there, which I dropped off Monday. Um, none of that stuff started tracking. And I went in on Tuesday and asked the mail person like, hey, was there a fire, a robbery, a vindictive, you know, carrier that just threw everything in the trash? And he said, no, everything had gone out Monday because he had unloaded the box himself. And so where those six packages have gone in the eight business days since then I guess Monday was a holiday so we'll give them seven business days since then but it's really been almost a week and a half it'll be two weeks on Saturday I have no idea so of course they didn't start tracking so I'm not protected um and I just usually drop stuff off at the counter and that is at least in there where they have to scan it before it goes anywhere never had an issue and I've never had an issue at the blue bin outside but now I have so two of the orders were on Poshmark Three of them were on um, eBay and one of them were, was on Depop. Luckily, they were all like 20 or under dollar purchases. I ref have refunded everybody. Everyone was very kind to me, the ones that reached out back to me and were like, hey, let's give it an extra couple days, blah, blah, blah. So Monday was a holiday. Yesterday was Tuesday and still those things have never started tracking or shown up. Um, all the items, the two from Poshmark were priority, so they should have at least been en route, but have never made it to their destination. So I, I'm still willing to risk it, I guess, once in a while, but I would definitely not be putting like bigger ticket items in there. Um, some people may have big issues with their post office. I've never had an issue and I don't think it happened at the local level. I think things went in a truck and that truck disappeared. Uh, where to? We don't know, but I do hope that some of my customers will reach out to me if they ever receive those items so they can at least let them know or know that they had gotten them. I did refund everybody. Um, so luckily all those items I think I sold were from the bins. So really I wasn't out more than like seven or eight bucks, but it still was kind of an aggravation um, in the sense that that has never happened. I've never had any shipping issues or it has started tracking and it's not been an issue. Okay. So um, hopefully if you stayed around for that, you'll have, you'll tell me some horror stories down below or that you've really never had any issues. And I really do um, believe in our postal service. I've never had any problems with them. So I'm not knocking that. I just feel like something has, you know, a hijacked truck, alien invasion, something happened to all six of those packages, which leads me to believe there have to be there. I wasn't the only person who put packages or mail in that slot during the day. So other people must be missing their things as well. Okay. Um, this is from City Thrift here in my town. And they have Thrift Smart maybe and another couple thrifty words through Nashville. This was a Wednesday I went in. 
Yes, because it was the day before my birthday and I had gotten my driver's license renewed. Um, now I realize I've gained maybe a few pounds since my last driver's license, but I had the photo taken and I'm not super high maintenance, but it wasn't until I got outside that I looked and I literally look like a thumb. Like there is no, <laughs> no chin definition. There's no, it's a bright flash that lit up under here and I look like a worm. <laughs> so I get to have that driver's license for the next eight years. I'm so excited. Okay. So I popped into the City Thrift because on Wednesdays I get an extra 30% off or 30% off all regular priced items as a eligible military discount. And on this day, certain things were 30% off and certain colors were 50% off. I'm not sure which ones were which. Hopefully I remember. Let's see what this one was. This was... Can't even find it on my list, so was not pay did not pay for it. Oh nope, there it is. Okay, okay, this I got thirty percent off. This was twelve ninety nine, and I saved three dollars ninety cents, so I did pay nine dollars and nine cents for this. Um, this is the brand Fjall Raven, and this kind of looks like it has seen better days, but that's just sort of it's a, you know they're canvasy kind of cotton bags that look like that. Um, I'm going to read up on the care instructions for this. They have this just like in the kid backpack section. And it says, in 1978, we launched Kinken, Konken, to prevent back problems among Swedish school children. Many of the early Konkens are still in use today, which is cool. And this is, I don't know if it has a date, 23510 Konken. So it's just a backpack, kids backpack, but um, in a fun teal color. And I think I can probably just throw it in the wash. Let's see what the directions say. Clean with a soft brush in lukewarm water. Yeah, that's what they say. Okay. What? Okay. These are the brand Vince, and I paid. <clears throat> Were they 50% off? Let's see. Shoes, shoes, shoes. No. They were, I got 30% off these. They must have been color was white for 30% off. I paid $5.59 for these. I need to get these listed Ricky Tick. Um, this is a pair of Vince leather sandals, or I presume leather. It's a platform wedge with this cork bottom, and it has a ankle strap that uh, is like a hook and loop closure and it's the brand Vince. Hard to tell how old this tag is since it's just black on black and these were a size um, eight and a half and yeah eight and a half. I presume they're real leather but I'll have to look up and see if I can find out what they are made out of. I would hate that they would be something that were probably pretty expensive to begin with that aren't made of real leather, but stranger things have happened. And as always, all of them putting comps up along the way. Okay, this is the brand um, Daydreamer for free people. I didn't even look this up. I just liked it. <laughs> so I just grabbed it. Um, sometimes I have been really picky when I've been at like regular thrift stores with the amount of money that I have been putting out because I um, have, you know, higher cost of goods. So this I paid $4.19 for. It's a size, it says large on here, but that seems untrue medium and this is a cotton modal blend it's a bodysuit and it says midnight rambler and it has this rose on it and it is a thong bodysuit at the bottom um the body the thong has a little bit of wear on it but it was actually clean so i was happy about that oops wrong end so this is cute the comps on this look decent i just thought it was a very cute thing perfect for like a summer concert with a pair of denim shorts or something like that okay this is um the brand chico's travelers and it's a size one which i typically would not spend like regular money on in a thrift store however i got several pieces all in the same size in the travelers so 
this was $9.98. They want they mark up Chico's at my that thrift store. Like it's so bizarre. You could have some really high-end item, but they won't mark it up. But anything Chico's, they really do. I like Chico, so I can understand why they do that. So these I paid $6.99 for. Um and you know, that's a little bit more money than I would typically pay for Chico's, but Chico's traveler stuff tends to do pretty well for me. So this is kind of just like a wider leg kind of vertical striped pull on pant in a gray and cream color and a size one which is a medium so you know but the reason that I got it was they had so new with tags Chico stuff like $24.99 for like a blouse that's what they all have marked at for some reason they didn't mark this up so this is marked at $16.99 and um so I paid $11.89 for this. This is a size one as well, which is a medium. Chico's Traveler's Tank. Now you're thinking, Trisha, why would you pay that much money for a tank top? It's new with tags, but it was a two-piece set. So it's this fun blue color also in a size medium, and that was marked as the two-piece set. So I'm just going to have this as a set and see how it does. I think it will do pretty well. The pants retailed for $69 and the top retailed for $49. So for 11 something, I'm hoping I can, you know, flip that pretty quickly. And I'm hoping that that same person will maybe be interested in those other Chico's Traveler's Pants. Okay, this is, I saw this the last time I went into their store and they didn't um, sell it since then. So this was $7.98 and I paid... $5.59 for it. It doesn't sound right. Here it is. $7.98, $3.99. It was green. It must green was half off. So this is Torrid size one. I just really like this top. It's a navy blue floral kind of peasant top. These uh three-quarter length wider sleeve. It's a bit of a bell sleeve on there. There's a pleat and it's a gauzier material. I also looked at the tag from when this was made to see how old of a piece it was, not that that deters me. This was from 2021 and it's just a rayon top, but I thought it was really cute and this would be great for summer and even a transition into fall. So for $3.99, I did go ahead and grab that. This I sort of picked up for myself, but I'm not 100% sure if it's going to fit me. Okay, this was $5.98 and half of that was $2.99. This is a size extra large. American Eagle Outfitters top or American Eagle top. It's a fun peasant top, heavy on the embroidery. It's got a little bit of a ruffle at the bottom. It has not really a Swiss dot, but it's sort of that look. It has a short kind of balloon sleeve that does tie. It's in this fun, it's not quite a mauve, but it's pinkish color. And I thought it was really cute. It had heavy embroidery and it was a size extra large and it was from um, 2018, so it wasn't relatively new in my mind, but it wasn't brand new. But I thought I would try it first, and if I didn't like it, I would just resell it. Okay, final item from this day is a pair, another pair of shoes that they had marked at $2.98 in the sandals section. And so I paid $2.09 for them. They are a size nine, which happens to be my size. Um, so we'll see, but they are the brand Jack Rogers and they're just a crossover strappy black leather sandal. I have sold this brand a couple times. Some of the stuff does better than others, but for $2 and in my size, I was happy to pick these up. They're made in Brazil. They're just a really cute flat slide. So that's what I got this day. So I paid $51.27. They do charge tax at this location because it is a for-profit thrift store and um, for nine items. So I will put on the screen what that really divvies up to being as average cost of goods. I need to get this stuff listed. I almost have, if you watched my last thrift haul from the bins, I have almost all of that stuff listed. 
and it was a big haul, it was 125 pounds. So if you haven't checked that out, look back there. I've been doing a fun series um, just on shorts of things that I've been getting from the bins, like five items a week that have sold recently that I pick and well picked over bins at $1.49 a pound. So I'm just showing that you don't have to be in there diving in head first for, um, to get the best items. You can still make a nice profit margin from the well picked over bins. So that's what I've been doing on there. Okay. Do I have a receipt from this day? Yes, I do. So this is what I literally had maybe 35 minutes in this store. Um, last week when I picked my husband up. So the first item is, it's a free people dress. I did pay $14.99 for this. I grabbed it, it was an impulse buy on the way to the um, counter. It is a size large, I just really liked it. So it's a V-neck sweater dress, but it's lighter weight. So honestly, you could wear this in multi-seasons. You could wear it, um, you know, kind of just with sandals, or you could wear it with tights and boots in the winter. It's kind of just a real textured rib knit sweater. It's called the Gidget Dress, maybe? I think that's what it's called, the Gidget Dress. And it's cotton nylon modal blend. So I, I really thought it was just cute. I liked that it was a size large. And I did pick it up, even though it was $14.99. The comps on it are all right, but, um, you know, it was probably not the best pick up. And I did not have time to look up comps. My husband literally texted me. We just landed, so I was hoofing it to the airport. All right, this I paid $7.99 for. I, don't, I did not get anything on a deal this week. I think yellow was the color, and I didn't get anything. So this I paid $7.99 for. This is the brand Soft Surroundings in a size medium, and I do not always pick this brand up in, like, mediums. I will, like, large, extra large, and up. I cannot show you the tag. It's, oh, there we go. Soft surroundings, but it is a size medium. But this is very, like, perfect for summer. This is a gauzy shirt dress, kind of swim cover-up. It has um, this, like, a slip pocket in the front. In this, I guess this is like an eye cat print, sort of. I don't know, or some sort of, eh, we'll call it an eye cat. But repeating print, but this real gauzy, soft, lightweight fabric. It has these fun like wooden like beads or beads buttons on there and it buttons all the way down and I did look up comps on this I'll put it on the screen but I feel like they were like 35 to 40 ish pretty good for something from soft surroundings in a size medium and it was actually in the size that that was what the comps were so um and it's 100% cotton and they showed really cute stock photos of it just a cute 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 dress Okay, this is the brand Toad & Co. This is 58% uh, organic cotton, 48% tensile, and 4% spandex. So it's a great fabric makeup. It's a great brand. It's in an extra small. Was it my best pickup ever? Probably not. But for fall, I really thought this was a cute dress. It's just pull it on. You can wear this with, you know, leggings and boots or tights or bare-legged. Kind of has multi-season wear to it. An excellent fabric. It's kind of a flattering fit here at the bust. It gathers in. And this was $7.99. So in an extra small, it might take a hot minute to sell. But I was picking up um, just a handful of items this day. And I, I just thought that was a cute dress. I like that print. Okay. Um, some of, Most of the dresses are $7.99. So this is Madewell. I don't know if I've successfully ever sold a Madewell dress. They're probably still sitting in my closet, but this is adorable. It is like a little flower print, like little daisies maybe. It's black, it's like a peasant top dress. It's knee length, real roomy kind of shift dress. Has these elastic cuffs to it. It's it's adorable. It's a very adorable dress. Um, and I feel like, again, it has multi-season wear to it. Dresses that you can wear in multi-seasons, I feel, are, you know, something you're getting best bang for your buck money-wise. This was from spring of 2020, so it's a relatively new piece. It is just polyester, so it's not, like, the best fabric on earth. But I, the print is adorable. Just adorable little print. So this, you know, has spring and fall look to it. I got one pair of shoes this day. They were 
<clears throat> and they were in very good condition. So the brand is Bionic. If you can see that, I have a new ring light. So <laughs> um, my other one broke. Okay, so this is a size nine um, and it is a ballet flat, but has a little bit of a heel on it. And it doesn't maybe have as much play, but it does have that ballet flat look to it. They are a size nine because I looked in the store. I thought they were really cute for myself and they're super comfortable, but we'll see if they sell. Very light signs of wear, um, so nothing major on that. And with these kind of shoes, like these ballet flats, I always look like at this area right here where people's like feet will be tending to rub this down. I mean, mine as well. And on the toes, because I run into stuff a lot. So there is, that had light signs of wear. There was nothing major about that. Lucky brand flats tend to get that a lot. That's what I see the most of. Okay, and for the most fun pickup of the day um, is this dress. So it's like a swim cover up and the, I just happened to recognize this brand from other resellers. I've never found it before. The brand is, I don't know if you can see it here, Poupette Saint Bart. Um, it looks like Poupette Saint Barth, but in the French pronunciation, I suppose, Poupette Saint Bart, we'll call it. It's a size medium. It's an adorable dress, and it has this little dainty trim to it has a smocked elastic waist. And I think they did advertise this as like a swim cover up. I don't know if that's just what all their brands are, but, and I just don't know that. <laughs> um, the bottom trim is just adorable. This is a super cute dress. Wasn't marked up. The stuff is pretty expensive and the comps looked good. It's like a faux little wrap here. So I'll see what the comps are for the specific um, actual piece and it's a, a size medium which I think will help it rather than being a super extra small or something like that and it was fun to find that brand for $7.99 perfect season so I need to hurry up and get all this stuff from the bins listed so I can whip through these items and this is a six items I got this day for $56.94 as a, um, compared to $51.21 and the nine items I got at the other thrift store. So I did pay up that free people dress was $14.99 and everything else, there was nothing I got on sale. Of course, I was looking for specifically the new tags that they were putting out that color because I was short on time. So I wanted the stuff that hadn't been as picked over, but I think I did pretty well. I mean, I'm definitely gonna make my money back but I think I picked up some fun pieces and brands that I don't often put in my closet. A few new brands, some cute shoes for summer. So just some things I need to get listed. And then it'll be back to the bins. I do, I did order some Goodwill blue boxes, just mystery boxes to unbox here down the road. So that should be pretty fun. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care.